first started out in architecture, actually, in a design firm, but that just didn't have the creative mojo that I was really, really wanting. And I looked at my, all my friends who went to animation and they were doing all this drawing and painting all the time and working with story and working on like entertainment with stars. And it, just, it was like, oh, that looks so good. And nothing had to be load bearing. And oh, I, I just, I love that idea. So I actually got um, my first job in animation based on, a lot based on an architectural rendering I did of just a um, regular like Coffin and Broad Street uh, house. It was, I submitted it to Fox, friends said, submit it to Fox, they're, they're hiring a bunch of people. I'm like, okay, so I submit over there. And um, the next thing I know, I got my first job on King of the Hill. It was like first season and I was meeting all these amazing people and I just didn't, I didn't look back. You know, for me, I've done both. And for me, the biggest part is visual development usually has a part where I'm inspiring a team or inspiring the look. Usually for, in my end, visual development is more about creating inspirational pieces. And then art direction is a lot more nuts and bolts, um, especially in television. That usually has to do with um, kind of, I think my background in architecture really helps with that because I really look at it in a broad overall picture, you have to be visionary to be able to see like in an overall kind of seeing the larger picture of something, um, which is like how the pipeline. I'm really big on pipelines because there's so many different kinds of pipelines that you need and you live and die by your pipeline. So creating different pipelines for the show, hiring a team of artists to come help you with it. And then it's got the managing that team, making sure everybody's really working as cohesive group and um, breaking down the boards you're you're working with the storyboard artists um, with infinity train it was a amazing time of kind of being able to go in and, and, and create each world basically most of the jobs I've had as an art director have kind of had a lot to do with both like my, my favorite gigs which is probably Phineas and Ferb and and um, infinity train is I was creating like it seemed like a different world every couple weeks. So it had like a little biz dev quality to it where you had to create something that was inspiring. And then you had to be able to generate it in a group of team of people. And then with Art Direction 2 year also, you have your team here in, 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 in your studio, but then you also have an overseas studio and an overseas team. So it has a, an overall. And it's, the Art Direction is always that juggling of like the overall vision you know, making sure you can see that and not get so lost in it that you don't, you're not connecting with your team and your people. And then like the, the smaller details. Some of the things besides great art, you know, of course you're gonna look for great art. And, I, and, and in t television, you're really looking for great art that's great for the project that you're doing, you know, for the style, for the vision of the creator, you know, who you're working with. Um, uh, uh, that's, you know, the main focus. Um, and then I also look, you know, when I'm interviewing with people, I also, you know, I really key off of like art and building a team that's going to like each other. Like I, I, I look for people who have a, an ability to be emotionally intuitive and I, you can kind of get it in an interview, you know, that they, they, they care about you know, what, what they have going on, but they're also gonna have a, a, a caring, a general caring and awareness about others too. And I just, I, I really, I really key off that. I think that's really important. I, 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 um, I think that just builds a better team if we feel like we're a united group. And so if they, there's a sense of compassion to them or a sense that they're able to kind of sit with frustration I kind of like, I'm, I'm, I'm looking for that kind of stuff in the back of my mind. I'm trying. <laughs> I am trying. I, um, I am, it, I am actively pitching and I think, uh, I think that it is harder, um, because I think that, you know, when you come from a visual development and, uh, you know, a story, I, um, 
I think, you know, people, it's, it's in this industry, you can get kind of like, I mean, it's, 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 it's a reality. You can get kind of pigeonholed. And I, I've worked very hard to try to not get pigeonholed. And one of the things I, on Phineas and Ferb, I did writing on that show. So that helps to have some writing credits. So I think that, I think that, you know, the, the more you can kind of flesh out, um, because to really land that, you know, the, you know, the creator of your own, you know, your own, um, your own uh, series, um, it's, you're going to have to really prove that you're a strong storyteller, you know, along with having really good visuals. So, and I think that that's just something that you're going to have to, you know, like, um, the, the ace in the hole that you have is that, you know, as an art director or as a visual designer, you know, nobody's going to worry about you and like that you're not going to know how to break down a board or you're not going to know. So it's interesting because you're coming at it from the opposite strength. I've, I've worked with um, creators um, who are writers or um, storyboard artists and they don't have any idea about how to break down a board or you know, how to create assets from that board. Um, so, you know, and, and, and they don't, they don't never needed to, you know, so, so I think that, and, and productions are fragile. They're really fragile things. So, you know, everybody is, needs to be on their, their game. So being an art director, visual development, it's a big part of it, but um, it, it really is, you know, taking that extra step. So to be honest, I am not super aware. I know, I know there's been some people who were editors. I know there's a gal who, I think the gal who created Shimmer and Shine was an editor. There's, you know, but most creators are um, storyboard artists, writers, or, or, or directors, usually that, that are kind of cracking that, that, that code of, of getting their own project. But I am not giving up. Gosh, I, I, I really love it all. You know, I think that that's a, that's a huge thing. I, I, I love the having a team, you know, I think that the, the struggle is always um, kind of like the meetings versus being able to actually have time to create. So that can, that can, that can be a challenge. I, I love it all. I, I love, I always love the fact that we are this group of, of artists that come together and it starts with story, you know, and, 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 and so if you have a great story or you're working with an, you know, an amazing director or you're working with an amazing creator, um, that's like the, the best, right? And so it kind of starts there and you all have this passionate energy about making something great together and it's always more than you can just make on your own. I think personal work's really important and, and I love doing that too, but I, I love the feeling of animation where you're this team of people and you're all jazzed at coming together and, and creating something that's gonna be bigger than, than anybody can do on their own and everybody has a voice and everybody has, um, and everybody has an important, you know, uh, part to it. And um, so I, that's, I think that's my, my favorite part to it. And then just watching, like just watching the project evolve. A lot of times you can do visual development for projects and they never see the light of day. So that can be a little tough. You know, I think that's the part that's, that gets a little hard, but then, you know, there's always the, you know, that, that closing door always is, you know, you look for the, the next, the open door, the next door that's opening. You know, I think that for me, the hardest part is always when a project's ending or, or, you, or you know, you know, or, you know, maybe your time's ending on it. You're going to go on to something else. That's always like a heart strain for me because I, I, I tend to fall in love with, with every project I'm on and I tend to fall in love with the people that are on the project and, and um, very, I'm very passionate about, about what I'm working with and who I'm working with. And I, I always, um, live in that place. So I, I, um, I feel like that's like the best, the best part of it.